When we were young, we noticed the subtleties of the world. We could become engrossed in the study of a single insect, the shape of a cloud, sunlight through a tree's canopy. As adults, it's harder to find time to notice these details. Our attention gets focused on practical things. When was the last time you noticed your own shadow and actually thought about it? Of course, we can't take note of everything, but I think there is value in seeing our surroundings deeply, in taking a moment for greater awareness of the world around us. I intend my work as sites offering the viewer a chance to engage in strong perceptual awareness. Individual works are small focal points distilling rich elements of visual perception. Light, shadow, form, space, and material become subjects for perceptual play and for thought and reflection. My sculptural language draws from different sources, including architecture, machinery, and landscapes. I work with geometric forms, planes, sharp edges, angles, mass. I use the vessel for its spatial qualities and ceramics for its malleability and its textural qualities. Clay also gives my work a certain ambiguity that I like. The shapes I make are modern, of this time, but the rough material that is cracked and warped has a weathered quality that suggests something ancient. Simplicity is an operating principle. Because there isn't any excess information, it allows us to see more of what is there. For this exhibition, I have scaled this up to an immersive installation that the viewer can enter. When you encounter perceptual playground, I encourage you to stop. Take some time to visually play with the work, with your perceptions and thoughts. Walk around and through it. See how different viewpoints change the way you see things. Note the shadows and light, the relationships between the ceramic and wood elements, how their shapes relate, the contrasts of texture. The mirrored reflections add another layer to the installation, a layer of illusions and visual effects to play with. Watch how the half piece is made whole by its reflection and how this illusion breaks down as your viewpoint changes. Watch for rhythmic patterns set up by the reflection as it multiplies the ceramic elements. And watch for subtleties like the variation in tonality between the ceramic objects and their reflections. Walk around. Look. There isn't any message to interpret. It is as simple as seeing what is there.